guys welcome back to another GTA 5 modding video today we are going to be covering lemon UI open source UI library this mod is essentially for uh, requirements in case you need to install a script and it's said that you need lemon UI for a requirement or in case you'd like to build your own native UI or trader menus this is also what you need so um, let's go ahead and get into it first thing go ahead and read the description it's gonna have some pretty key information for you uh, along with the installation there will be a usage in case you want to download let's see 5m uh, rph or scripthook v.net 2 or scripthook v.net 3 rph is going to be the um, rage plugin hook and then 5m obviously yeah make sure you go ahead and read the description because those are some key files just for the purpose of this installation tutorial this is going to just be um lemon ui script hook v.net 2 and 3. all right so first off let's go ahead and give a shout out to uh just a lemon on this script appreciate that but uh once you're ready to download go ahead and head over to the all versions and hit the most current and then we'll go ahead and download that and extract it and once you have that extracted go ahead and open up your open IV all right guys once you have that downloaded and extracted go ahead and open up your folder and then inside you will see that there's a 5m folder there's a rage plugin hook folder and then the two folders we're gonna need the script hook v.net 2 and 3 there are a few other files that we won't be needing for this tutorial so don't worry about those but um yeah, let's go ahead and go over to our open IV, turn on edit mode, and then head over into your scripts folder. If you don't have a scripts folder, you can go to create one, pop it open, and make sure that there is no capitals in the uh, starting letter of scripts or anything like that. And then we're going to go ahead and navigate to our first folder. And you'll see we have three files. We can go ahead and drag and drop those three files into the scripts. And then we can go to back out go to script hook v.net 3 and do the same thing drop those files right in there and actually that is going to be it for the whole tutorial um, from here you would go ahead and install your requirements if there's another script or a mod that you're doing now you're able to go ahead and do that and it should be all installed so uh, yeah if this helped you go ahead and leave a like appreciate it uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video